again everyone. Here's a little more in-depth information about myself. Once again, my name is Dana Stevens. I live in Livonia, Michigan. I am 19 years old. When I was going into the seventh grade, my parents got into a divorce, so I live in two different houses. But my parents both live within five minutes of each other, so that's really nice. I have one older sister. Her name's Kara. She's 22, and she just graduated from Michigan State with a nutri nutritional sciences degree. I also have one dog. Her name's Helen. She's around here somewhere. She's a pit bull. She's three years old. Um, I attended Stevenson High School. After I graduated from Stevenson, I went on to pursue my schooling at Saginaw Valley State University, where I'm majoring there in nursing. I just finished my freshman year there, and I'll be going back in the fall to start my sophomore year. I'm taking this communications here at Schoolcraft not only just to fulfill a requirement for my nursing degree, but to ease my workload in the fall. Um, when I'm not at Saginaw for school, I like to come home and work at Subway in Livonia. I've worked at Subway for three and a half years, and I recently just applied for a nursing assistance job at Beaumont and Royal Oak. My friend works there, so she has a lot of experience there. Um, something unique about myself would be that I've played competitive soccer since I was five. I played on a high skill team, the Michigan Hawks, for six years, and then I switched to Vardar for the rest or the last seven. I've traveled all over the country for this sport. My mom and I once counted, and I've been to over 37 states to play. I was on a scholarship at Saginaw Valley, but I decided to quit and focus more on my studies. Um, something else unique and kind of crazy about myself is that the first day of my senior year, I was really sick. I wasn't feeling well. I went to school, and I came home, and all my friends went out to get school supplies, and I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to stay home. Like, I don't feel too well. I took a nap, and I woke up. And I had a fever of 104, my feet turned purple, and I was, I had a really, I was like cold, but I was, had the fever, and I called my mom, and I was crying, and she was like, you're fine, like, don't worry, and I was like, no, I'm not fine, so she had to come home from work, we went to Providence Hospital in Novi, and they just told me it was a febrile virus, which is just like a fever virus, where your fever gets like higher and lower, and they said I couldn't go back to school till it was clear for 48 hours. So then I was at home for about five days out of school, and my fever never went down. And then finally my mom took me back to the hospital, and they ended up admitting me for the night. And I woke up in the middle of the night, and I couldn't breathe. And both of my lungs were filled with um, liquid. And I got a bunch of tests done and everything, and they found out that I had pneumonia. And so at first I started getting better and then all of a sudden I took a turn for the worst and I started getting worse and worse. And so my mom's friend who's a nurse came in and was looking at me and she was like, "Get it. she was like, I want to keep her at Providence. So I ended up getting airlifted to U of M because I wouldn't have made it in an ambulance, which is pretty scary. So I got airlifted to U of M and I was in the ICU, which is the intensive care unit. Um, I was in there for about a week. I don't really remember it. I was kind of dozed off. But, um, yeah, I was in there. I had a CPAP. It's a mask that goes over your mouth. I was on that, and it it's kind of like sticking your head out of a car going 70 miles per hour. The, the air was just, like, filling my lungs so that my lungs wouldn't collapse. And um, when I was at U of M, they told my parents that I had two collapsed lungs double pneumonia, a bladder infection, and a kidney infection. So I was pretty sick. Um, and then finally, they told my parents when I was in the ICU for about a week, they told my parents that I was going to have to be induced into a coma for 48 hours if I didn't start getting better. So my parents were pretty scared about that. And then all of a sudden, a couple hours before that was supposed to happen, I started coughing and I started like throwing up kind of and um I just started getting better it was pretty weird so um after that I got taken out of the ICU and I was just in the normal hospital floor and I got the CPAP taken off and just a normal breathing machine on so um that was how that worked but after I was able to breathe on my own I was released two days after that something like that and I ended up missing a full, like, two and a half weeks of school, like, my first se for senior year, like, that was sweet. 
Um, and I missed a lot of work, but my teachers were really cool about it, and they let me all make up all the work and the tests, and they weren't, like, pressuring me about it. And then for soccer, I couldn't go back for another two weeks because I had to work back my lungs. Um, yeah, so I thought that was pretty unique and crazy. Um, that's about it. So I still look forward, still look forward to watching the rest of your guys' videos. Um, I hope you liked my video.